So you spoke about the data that will be sent by the payload. Right. What are we looking at, sir? You, you mentioned a photo every minute. How does this get processed? Okay. The, on board this satellite, there are two hard disks like what we have in a normal computers, right? Yeah. So these hard disks are the place where this uh, detect, the observations will be, observation data will be stored. And ISRO has a deep space network Hmm. Indian Deep Space or IDS and it is called in a place called Bailalu near Bangalore hmm. where they have got a 32 meter dish antenna. So this dish antenna will be used to download this data from the satellite to the ground control station. After some initial quality check and all, that data will be posted to the payload operation center which is in the Ministry of Astrophysics hmm. in Koramangala after uh, towards the end of the day. Hmm. And within 24 hours this data will be processed using our uh, calibration techniques. We make sure that uh, all the instrumental parameters are all right so that it is like the raw data that is coming in is like an untested medicine. Yeah. So we need to make sure all the parameters are all right before which it is sent back to ISRO for dissemination to the scientific community as well as the general public. Mm. This will be primarily pictures of the solar atmosphere mm. like what we see during the total solar eclipses but the only thing is these pictures will be updated every one minute. Yeah. So we spoke about the primary payload, there are six other payloads yeah. uh, on this uh, spacecraft. Yes. How exciting is it for the scientific community, sir, looking at other six payloads? See, actually the genesis of this whole project goes back to 2006. Hmm. At that time, it was conceived as only a coronagraph project alone. Yeah. And it was supposed to be in the low Earth orbit, like hmm. in either ISRO mission. Yeah. Thanks to late Professor Yuar Rao, around 2012, it was conceived as an observatory class mission. When I say an observatory class mission, it is not limited to only one instrument. A suit of instruments which looks at the sun from different points of view. For example, one instrument, for example, when we talk about the solar ultraviolet imaging payload, which is one of the other payloads on board this mission, they are looking at the solar photosphere and the solar chromosphere. Mm. So with the coronagraph, we are looking at the VLC payload, we are looking at the solar corona. Mm. There are other payloads, we are looking at the solar wind which is flowing out from the sun. There are other payloads which are going to measure the magnetic field in situ at this L1 Lagrangian point. Mm. So effectively, you have an observatory there in the space mm. uh, with which you can have a cradle to grave, grave coverage of these violent eruptions on the solar atmosphere, which is a novel thing in solar physics, observational solar physics in the entire world. Mm. 